This is Twit. Hey, Flo. We got a we got a message, not an email, not an email, a scribbled uh, message, a scribbled message. So my my darling mother, who gave birth to me and put me on this earth, um, I am her tech help, as I'm sure a lot of you out there are your parents' tech help, and um, she got a Galaxy Note eight uh, against my against my uh, suggestions. I had suggested she get a smaller phone, but she's liking it so far. Show and she's liking it so much that, Victor, if you wouldn't mind sh uh, quickly showing, because I'm not going to read the whole message because it's just long and rambly. Um, but my mother like wrote out this long, if you just want to scroll wow. real quick, just scroll to the bottom. This is just adorable. Scroll. She just wrote out a long message on the with her S Pen. On the Note 8. Um, and this, then, is how you, this is how you Note 8 right this here. This is how you Note this 8. By what, the way, yeah. she did this at like 6 in the morning. Because <laughs> that's when I got this at like 6 in the morning. Um, that was awesome. And I just want to want to point out, let's see if we can go to the last page, Victor, that she says. Uh, let's see. Um Oh, this is amazing. She, she, oh, she said, oh, anyway, she told me to tell the boys about it. The boys being... Jason and Ron. So I'm just going to read very quickly. The email <laughs> if you don't said. mind, please tell the boys my <laughs> yeah. issues. If you don't mind, please tell the boys my issues. <laughs> we are listening. <laughs> oh, so my great. mother's issue it. is, uh, dear daughter, I could not help myself not to send you this email to sort of pressure you further about the new phone issue and hardship, so to call it, because I think of it constantly and I am disappointed that someone has not thought of it earlier. It is sort of, of, a fixation, frustration, and all the same time, I am overwhelmed of how fast things are changing. And we, the population at large, sort of try to keep up with the speed to no avail. Developers don't think of us, the commoners. Love, mom. So she's really frustrated because she was migrating from a GS6 Edge that she had, and uh, she used a Samsung smart switch, and n not a lot of her data transferred over. So a lot of her apps, the data didn't transfer over. And so I explained to her mom that the backup, uh, the backup that Google has on Android has to be enabled by the developer side for those mm. third-party apps. And so this is when she started to get very just like, well, that's not consumer friendly. Like Google needs to make sure these people are putting in their apps because look how hard it is for me. And so she's been very like finding all these new apps that she needs to use, like, like a note-taking app because she wasn't using Google Keep, which I got her on. Um, <laughs> but it made me just think, it made me think about my mom. And well, my mom is usually the person who comes to me on Android stuff. She's so like, she's so, she carries the Android flag <laughs> because it's the flag that I carry. Uh, and so I aw. feel, I, yeah, no, she, she's like, no, no, no. Your father got the iPhone 10. I'm not getting that. She's like, I want the, I want the Samsung. So, you know, <laughs> I need to help her with this because she's essentially carrying the torch for, for our people. Uh, but it's hard to explain like, um, there's not really, you know, a good backup solution on Android. And that's when yeah. you kind of go like, dad's iPhone has a way, like he's just gonna, he's just gonna click a button on iTunes and it's just gonna, or I guess through iCloud, cause that's how long I haven't been on iOS. And it's just gonna be like that. All of his text messages and his apps and everything is just gonna be like that. And on Google, on an Android device, you're lucky if most of your apps carry over with their logins. I haven't had as much problem because I have migrated to a lot of progressive web apps and a lot of um, web apps in general because I am trying to spend less time on social media and less time doing things that don't serve me. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also I don't want to use so much space for apps that I'm only using like once or twice a year. Sure. So I'm just kind of using web apps. And because of that, I haven't worried so much about uh, migrating, but my mom, she still relies a lot on apps. And I think cousin of Jean chat has a very good solution that your mom needs to uh, read up on how to root her device my cousin, and then, tried, my cousin and, tried to tell her and, this. And then install titanium backup. And no, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Don't do that. I don't uh, even like to do that. I just suffer along no. with everybody because I just don't want to do that. I think that's absurd. I mean, it's 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 the it's it's a really great example of how the two platforms are totally and completely different, right? Like iOS, there's there's not a lot of the of, of obscurity or you know difference between how it's done because it's literally Apple that makes that call and, and Android, there's a lot of choice. So there's a lot of different 
uh, sides of that yeah. equation. Google has its solution that only works with its phones, with Pixel devices. And might I add, it doesn't always work 100% smoothly every oh, single yeah. time. Oh, yeah, now you can only sometimes back Sometimes it up. works great, sometimes it doesn't. And you're like, yeah. why don't... Why does this not work? It's Google. Samsung has its own intentions and its own apps yeah. that, that do this sort of thing. It's really, it's yeah, it's very consu- uh, confusing to them. Oh, consumer. that was the other thing. She had a bunch of apps on there from Samsung that they no longer support, like oh. they no longer make. And I'm like, mom, Samsung has changed so much in the last like two years since you How had the How would she know that? And exactly. How would like, she know? I mean, she, <laughs> yeah. I mean, she does watch all about Android, but kind of loses. <laughs> It well, drops like, off after the intro. Yeah, yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. But you know, um, we're also not totally talking about all the Samsung apps that, because. I mean, that's a challenge. I don't. I don't know what the answer is on that. I, I just mean, wanted I, to bring I, it as an example yeah. of what we still need to uh, be concerned with in 2018 going forward with Android. Is that like we're about to talk about all these things that made us really excited this year about Google, but there's still some little things that are slipping through the cracks. Absolutely. To, that really could help it make. Make it more consumer friendly so people feel not so scared about coming over to Android. Yeah. So. What What, what, what do you guys think? What, do, you, do you Do you have any opinions on this? I mean, I, I feel like there's. It's It's weird to me that like the it's the contrast of the fact that Android is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, mobile operating systems in the world. So many people. Sorry. In Sorry. Notes. I got really excited. I jingled. <laughs> He jingled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so popular in the world, yet there's so many things that are really just complicated and convoluted about it. Like that's an ongoing, constant challenge. That's probably a theme that's very similar now as it was when you were doing the show regularly, Gina. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, first of all, Flo, your mom's point about developer empathy for commoners is just, I mean, so well taken and something, a point that I think needs to be made, you know, just over and over again. And it's funny because, you know, we've been doing this for years and I've had Android since like the G1. And my first reaction was like, oh, but it's gotten so much better. Like the last time I, you know, when I moved over to my Pixel, it was like, a, it was a very easy transfer. But I also realized that I stick to Google phones and I almost always think because I switch between devices, you know, my computer, my tablet and my phone, I'm always front of mind thinking like, where's this data coming from? Am I syncing up to Dropbox or to Google Drive or like, like this is like all my all my apps are basically cloud backed. Um, and, and I just think about it that way because I'm we do this job, right? But your mom's not thinking that right. she's probably mostly only on her phone and is installing apps that store stuff locally and, and are, you know, and that stuff isn't getting transferred over. Um, and that's, that's normal and expected and human and you know regular person behavior <laughs> so i don't i don't have i don't have a good answer but yeah this is this is one of those things i feel like it's gotten so much better since we started but still these things could be a lot easier for a normal person uh buying a non google phone yeah you know uh, I, well, I and and I was I was gonna say Gina put it very eloquently, said exactly what I would say. How far we've come, if you think about the original versions and stuff like that. But even I mean, so you know, like smartphones are complicated. You know, like I'm constantly answering questions and friends and family who have iPhones and like, how can I do this? Like, the, the iPhone isn't magically better or easier for for many things. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, Apple's done a lot to make it harder for some things. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, like, the, oh, ultimately, these are computers. And you think about, like, setting your parents up on a desktop. Now it's just as complicated. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bleak in the chat room suggested, you know, always start fresh with a new device. Always start fresh. And that that's something that I do a lot of times because, you know, we work yeah. with a lot of phones. And if it's going to be my, like permanent device, not a review device. If it's a review device, I'm going to do everything that I can to make it easier for me. But if it's like my device, I will always start fresh. But that's just such a, a mountain to climb. Oh, if, yeah. if it's something that you're not used to doing, setting up all those accounts, did you install everything going to each of the Play Store pages? What are my passwords? Installing, what are my passwords? Uh, maybe you forget to you know, sign into an email account of some sort that you only use rarely. And then you realize a couple of months later, oh my goodness, I never signed into that. And you check it and there was something really important. Like there's a number of ways that you can really trip yeah. yourself up. So while that produces really great results to do that, it's also very challenging to, to be you know, confident that you're not missing something along the way. Yeah. 
Well, thanks, boys and Gina, <laughs> for <laughs> taking my mom's email. And thanks, Flo's mom. <laughs> she sent me the email, so she sent it to me. <laughs> so you too can email. You can send us a video mail, a voicemail. You can also send us your Note Eight scribbles at triple A <laughs> TV. And we'll bring them onto the show. Uh, just like that. I love it. This is a new format. But I'm jealous, by the way, that she was able to get full cursive without, like, I, I cannot good. do the S Pen. It's just. Looks great. That's the way to, that's the way to note.